Hello everybody and welcome back to more of Universal Giant Plays Kirby's Block Ball. Today we're going to be starting Stage 5 and getting our second ability of the game. Stone Power. If we are above a bunch of blocks, we can push B and break them all from the top down. Borderline 120,000. And yes, the background music is what I put in the poll. One of my, f probably my favorite track from this game, although I completely forgot about it. I mean, I, I'll be, I'll be honest with you guys. When I thought back to the soundtrack from this game, this track completely escaped me. For some reason, I couldn't remember it. Of all the stages, this is the one that I forgot. And looking back on it, I find that just, I think it's just tragedy, I guess, because I. I think it is the best one in the game, and to forget your favorite track... Well... Whatever, I know it now. Something you'll want to use to your advantage if you have stone power is that when Kirby hits the bottom, he will fly off to the right. Eventually we'll get a uh, burn power, a fire power, and that'll be just the opposite. That'll send us up, and it will fl send us flying to the left rather than the right. I guess it's a little something that you should remember. As we get further and further into the game, it's going to be more important to control where Kirby goes. Oh, although, believe me, this, this stage is going to take a while because you tend to spend most of your time on the bottom of the stage. And with stone power, you need to get to the top in order to make best use of it. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to break any blocks. Now, the only problem with that is... Even when you get to the top and you break all the blocks, you still have to go from the top down, so you'll wind up back at the bottom again. How productive is that? I almost died. I mean, usually I spend this entire stage just trying to get back up to the top and destroying these things column by column. Which takes forever to do, but it maximizes your points. Cake. Nice. So this stage really does take a while if you play it methodically, like I do, and try to get as many points out of it as you can, although I would have wanted to destroy those other blocks, which would have given me 500 points each. No big deal. 13,000 is not bad. This stage is probably the fastest. Depending on how you want to go about it, I mean, what I try to do is knock out the shiny blocks on the side. I still don't know what to call those. I'll call them shiny blocks. Also, you'll notice there are two bonus orbs. You have to hit both of them to activate the bonus chance. But again, I try to knock out the shiny blocks first, because I think the ones on the side are most difficult to get, although you could argue with stone power, as long as you can get to the top, nothing's too hard to hit. Now, if it just so happens that I do not get to that bonus orb before I destroy all the blocks, which is, in it is possible, you don't have to have at least one block on the board in order to get the bonus chance. You still get the bonus, and the bonus actually counts as a block, if you believe that. You have to hit the bonus block if you want to clear the level. Which took me a while to figure out, actually. But yes, it is a required block. Oh boy, that was close. I don't know how I did not die there. But yeah, if you hug the side of those blocks, you can destroy them without actually being on top of them. Now, if I can get that bonus block, I mean, it would be unbelievably easy to nail that bonus because the blocks are just right underneath it. So I could use the stone power and fire right through those things. Just right there. I'm not going to come out of my stone because I'm going to get those two blocks immediately after go. Perfect. Let's see if I can get through this. Okay, 43,000. Now, before you go, there's a warp star. I believe it's to the right of that enemy up there. So I'm going to try to go for that. Oh! I didn't realize it was that close to the ground. With our three lives in hand, we return. To round three. Now, if memory serves me, that enemy has 
a block flipper power up thing that'll turn all of those colors. Oh, I just want to angle myself up there so I can break these blocks. Perfect. Now I can just use the stone power and properly angle myself to destroy these. Like so. And the further you can get to the left, the easier it is to time those. Of course, I'm going to go for that star block because it's just too easy to miss. It's just going to take a little bit longer. But like I said, I'm methodical about these. Because any chance of a point you get, you should take. Also, if you get 50,000 points, you get a free life as well. So yeah, just racking up the points here. Oh, you ruined my stone. There we go. And now this is really easy to get. All we have to do is jam ourselves up against the wall and then it'll put us right above the block. But this is why I spend so much time on this stage, because I can get so many points if you just take your time. It's all about patience. This game is not about speed. If you go too quickly, well, either you'll miss a chance at points, or you may wind up killing yourself altogether. So do not try to rush through this game. Take it easy. 69,000. If I don't clear the borderline... Well, who am I kidding? Of course I'm going to clear the borderline. Although these blocks may be a little bit difficult together. Who's that? A moon? Is that Mr. Shine? I actually forget which is which. Mr. Shine, Mr. Bright. There's a sun and a moon. But I always forget which is which. And I do not want to hit that mini-boss just yet, so I will use the stone power-up to my advantage. If I get too close to him, I'll sort of use it as my quick way out. So I don't hit him. See, they positioned the star blocks up there so it would be a little bit difficult for you to use the stone power to grab them. In fact, those ones at the top are going to be especially difficult since I destroyed the ones underneath them. Normally, I like to try to bounce between them. Shoot. I screwed myself right there. So let's see if I can avoid the warp star. Yeah, I know this is going to take the longer time than it had I just gone without bothering to get all the blocks, but I want all the blocks. I don't care how long it takes. If I have to speed this up, I'll speed it up. But I want all the star blocks, if I can. It shouldn't be that hard. It shouldn't. Because the, the one at the top there is going to be a pain to get. But I should be able to grab it. See, there we go. Now just that one remaining block. I was not sure I would get it. Uh, darn it. Now I wish I could have gone left. I don't know how I'm going to get that block. I guess what I could try is take a chance. Will that work? Oh, I almost had it there. Okay, I'm definitely speeding something up here. That's a risk I should not have taken. Oh boy. No, I can get it now. Cool. Okay, so I am almost definitely cutting out the bonus. where I just owned that uh, star game anyway. Not the star game, the air hockey game. There we go. So we're going to take on Mr. Bright and Mr. Shine. Sun and moon. However, we're only fighting one at a time. Once again, if you have an ability, use it to your advantage here. And if... Like I said before, if Kirby does sort of anything so he stays in suspended animation, the boss continues to move. So, I mean, use all of these to your advantage here. If you see the boss is kind of going to move into the general vicinity of where Kirby is, just leave him there in the stone animation. Darn it. And of course, if you hit him with your ability, it counts as two hits. Which is nice. Now, Mr. Bright... Uh, am I calling these the right names? I hope so. 
But yeah, the sun only attacks the bottom platform. So don't really worry about losing the side ones. And there we go! 12 extra lives in hand. Broke 14,000. Oh, I still didn't beat my top score. I, I forgot how high my scores were in my first run through this game on my emulator. But for the second time in this LP, we cleared the borderline and we get the Kirby Parade. So cute. So G I. You know what? This would go a lot faster if I just did my concluding comments here. So, thanks for watching part five. I'll see you in part six when we take on. Stage 6 of Kirby's Block Ball. This is Universal Giant. I'll see you next time.